Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we covered the explanation part for SNS. That's our simple notification service. And if you haven't watched it, I request you to please watch it. The link will be on the iCard on the top right corner. And in today's session, we will be doing a short hands-on demo for SNS. And we will be covering two aspects of that. And we will be creating the SNS topics for both email and SQS to get a better insight on how SNS works. So I hope you are excited. Let's begin. So this is the AWS console that I have. And if I just want to iterate or I want to go to the simple notification service, I can just type here simple notification service and I can click on this link here so that I can use SNS. So I'll just click on this one. So here we have the Amazon simple notification service. So pops up messaging for microservices and serverless applications. Okay, so here I can create a topic for myself or I can go ahead and start off with an overview. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a topic now. This will be my topic one. So this is the name of the topic that I'm going to give right now and I'll just click on next step. Once you have clicked that and you have reached here, you will see a lot of options, but don't worry, we'll not be using all of them right now. You have the name, that is my topic one. And you can choose to give the same name as your display name. So as it is written here, to use this topic with SMS subscriptions, enter a display name. Only the first in characters are displayed in the SMS name. Okay, so I can give this a display name as well. And other than that, I can provide encryption that I don't want to give right now. And you can provide the access policies where you can basically classify whether it's a basic or an advanced access policy. For the advanced, you can use a JSON object to define the advanced access policy where you can define your permission levels here. And for the basic one, you just follow the one that is defined here, like uh, define who can publish the message to the topic or who actually can subscribe to this topic. And there are delivery read fire policies for HTTPS and uh, HTTP endpoints. So that is also optional for us and delivery status logging where actually you can log uh, whenever your message has been delivered to CloudWatch. So I will not give this right now, but if you want to give, you have to select one of these options and you have to provide the IAM role for that so that they can communicate with uh, CloudWatch. And then there is a tag option that I also don't want to give. So the last option that I have is just to create the topic. Okay, I'll just click on create topic. So once you have clicked on create topic, so you can see here, I have received message topic. My topic one has created successfully and you can create subscriptions and send messages to them from this topic. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do was, as I told you, we'll have a subscription or we will have a subscriber as an email address. Okay. So I'll create a subscription here. So as you can see here, like we have all the details that we want to know, like the name of the topic is my topic one and the ARN is also specified here and this is the topic owner ID and here the subscribers will be listed there are no subscriptions right now so the list is pretty much empty and I have not defined any extra details here so we don't need to check it for now okay so we'll go ahead and create the subscription so once you've clicked on create subscription you will come to this page and here this is the topic that we just now created my topic one and you can select a protocol. Okay, there are multiple protocols that you can use right now. So there's the HTTP or HTTPS or email or email JSON or Amazon SQS or AWS Lambda or platform application endpoints or SMS as well. Okay, so these are the two points that we are going to discuss today, the email and the SQS. For now, I will have my subscription to the email. Okay, I'll make that as a subscriber. So to make this as a subscriber, just you need to click on this. And you have to type the email address of the person or the service which is going to receive the emails okay as a notification so i'll just type my email id so this is the email id that i wanted to give now everything is just fine i don't need to give any subscription filter policies or i don't want to have any redrive policy like i don't want to push that into a dead letter queue okay so here that's it i just can create the subscription okay so once you have sent the subscription, then for an email, you are getting this notification, right? Status is pending information. So every time you create a subscription for an email, there will be a validation or a confirmation mail that will be sent to the 
email id so that they can validate that yes this is the person or this is a service that i want to get notified from so that they can apply for the subscription and they can confirm the email id okay so here my email box is already opened so this is the one that i have right now so this is the message that i have received right now from aws so there's the ARN that I know my topic one that I've subscribed to and to confirm this subscription click or visit the link below. Okay, so I can just click on confirm subscription. Okay, so once you have clicked on that your subscription is confirmed and you have subscribed box it up sam at the rate pythonic.com to the topic my topic one. Okay, so now whenever I push any messages to my topic one, I'll receive a message. Okay, as a notification. So let's go back and now if you see in some time it will be confirmed okay so if it is not then i'll just uh, click on subscription again see now it is confirmed okay so now the status is confirmed the protocol is email so the endpoint that we have is the email id and the topic that it has subscribed to is my topic one okay and this is the arn so now the fun part actually begins okay so we have the topic my topic one and if you click on this one you can publish messages from here as well okay or if you want to if you go here here also you can have a publish message option so here once you are in the topic you will be having a subscription list previously it was empty because we did not have any subscriptions now we have so we have this subscription id already enabled for us so now what we can do is we can start sending messages isn't it so click on publish message and there's a subject that you want to give so hello pythonic and time to live you can give but that is for mobile application endpoints and i just want to say hello have a great day okay so this is the message that i have hello have a great day so as of now i don't want to give any message attributes so i'll keep it very simple then we can just click on publish message so now i have received the message okay so this is the message that i sent and this is what i have received okay so now i had sent the messages from here by publishing the message from the topic itself so as i had subscribed to the topic i am getting the message okay so this was everything that you need to know about a simple hands-on demo when we do with uh, email service so this was everything about the email service let's move on to sqs okay so to use the SQS as the subscriber, we need to first create a SQS queue, isn't it? So let's go here to our SQS and start creating a queue. Okay, so I'll just keep it very simple. If you haven't watched the SQS demo, please do so. We have two demos, one for standard and one for FIFO. Okay, so for now, I'll just give a queue name, my queue for SNS and everything else is just same. I don't want to change anything. And I'll just create the queue. Okay. So now, as you can see here, we have all the information that we need, like the name and the URL and the ARN. And there is one more option that you see here: subscribe to Amazon SNS topic. Okay, but I'm not going to do it from here. I'll create a subscription from SNS because we are working on a demo for SNS. Okay, so go back to SNS once again and uh, create a subscription. But wait, what we are going to do is we will see if what happens if there are two topics okay so i'll just open one more sns and i'll create a new topic okay my topic two okay so let's see what happens right now so this is my second topic okay and i'll create a subscription for see this is the second topic okay i'll create a subscription for the amazon sqs okay and this is the sqs queue that i had created just now my queue for sns i'll just click on that and i'll select that and i'll enable raw message delivery as well and uh, that's it i don't need to do anything my endpoint has been set my arn has also been set and i have chosen the my topic 2 that i just recently created and then i'll just click on create subscription okay so once i have created the subscription you must go back to sqs to see the magic just wait for some time you are seeing this empty space here this will be filled up with the arn of the topic see now it has come okay so this is the aws arn for the topic that we have mentioned before or we just created the subscription for so there's the my topic too okay 
So as we have already done this through SNS, if you want to do it from SQS, what you can do is you can just click on subscribe to Amazon SNS topic. And here you can just select one of the topics that you want. So this is basically your topic two that I want to subscribe and then click on save. Okay. So once you have saved this, you are subscribed successfully to the topic, my topic two. Okay. So now, as we all know, when we are working with SQS, the main objective is to send and receive messages. So just click on this and you will come to the receive message part and you see the polling duration here. This is the visibility timeout for the SQS queue. So once I click on poll for message and it starts its polling duration, I will be able to receive the messages from the SNS. Okay, so I'll just click on poll for messages and I'll send a message immediately from my topic. Okay, so publish message. There's the my topic too. Hello SQS. And I don't want to give any time to live. Just hello, how are you? Okay, so these are messages that I have given, and just click on publish message. Okay. 0 0.1 receives per second, and we have already received our message. Okay, just click on that. If you don't trust me, if you don't trust me, I know you don't trust me on this one. So I'll just click on this to show you that I just sent the message right now. So it's 117.06. And if you click on the body here, hello, how are you? Okay, so now do you trust me? This actually works. Okay, and if you want the proof that during this visibility timeout period that we have, and if it is not active, we'll not be able to receive any messages. I'll show you once again. See, I haven't clicked on poll for messages. I'll go back to simple notification service. And I have the topic here ready with me, my topic too. And I'll publish the message. Okay. Hello SQS2 and hello second message. Okay, I'm not bluffing you with anything on this one. Just click on publish message. Go to Amazon SQS queue here. Now just see, we have the message available to us, but it has not been received by us. Okay, so whenever our queue now becomes available, or is visible, we will be able to receive the message. If you do a poll for message again now, you will be able to see the message in the list. Okay, if you want to see that, just click on poll for messages. See, you didn't trust me on this one. That's what I said. Hello, second message. Okay, <laughs> I was just kidding. So this is basically how Amazon SNS works. And the most important aspect that we forgot to discuss is basically when you see here, we have subscribed to a particular message topic and we have only received that particular message to which we were subscribed to. So if I go back to my mail and if I try to see any other mail topics that I've received, I have received none from the topic two. Only when I send a message from my uh, topic one, I'll be able to receive because I have subscribed to that. And if you want to see that, if suppose I would send any messages from my uh, topic one, I'll go back to topic one. If you don't believe me, okay, just publish a message. Hi email. Hi email. Okay, then just publish the message. Hi email. Okay. And the same message will not be received by the SQS queue. Okay, so see, there are no messages available to us. So now you are having a clear idea about how the topics work in SNS. So users who subscribe to a particular topic, they will be only receiving the messages when the messages are pushed to that particular topic. Okay, so I hope this was a fun demo for all of you and you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, it's Pythonic signing off.